How's it going everybody? Ray here again. I wanted to show this to you because this crossed my mind as kind of a, a little bit of a, a, a something that ran through my mind. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, dis I mean, there's already a lot of deceptions. We all, we all know this uh, as, you know, Christians. Um, I wanted to make this abundantly clear. These are two different Bible verses that I have opened up. One is from the epistle to the Thessalonians and the other ones to the Corinthians, the first, the first letters that were sent out by Paul. The Thessalonians uh, and Thessaloniki, well, it was Thessalonica back then, but Thessaloniki now, which I've actually been to, by the way, when I was in the Navy, we stopped by there. Um, the Thessalonians had a letter written to them, you know, encouraging them to, you know, keep up what they were doing. And um, the Corinthians were going in kind of a different direction. Uh, so Paul wrote letters to them, and they both mention the event called the rapture. So I wanted to go over these real quick and make it abundantly clear how it's explained that the rapture will happen. We don't know when specifically, but it gives an account for some details of what will take place. Now, one actually mentions that an angel will make us, you know, with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of God. That's from the letter in Thessalonians. That's actually not mentioned in uh, Corinthians. So I don't know why one mentions the uh, voice of an archangel and the other one doesn't. I guess we'll see, you know, we'll see in time and the great revealing of things or the book of Revelations as it unfolds. Hopefully we're out of here before then. So if you can't see this, I sincerely apologize. Um, I'm trying to get this orientated as best as I can. All right, let me try and read this. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord there's a reason why I put a lot of emphasis in the word shall. All right. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In the moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So... The reason why I was emphasizing shall on there is because that means that it's going to happen. Um, when you hear that trumpet, um, whatever it'll sound like, if nothing happens, wait and be patient. Um, there's no telling when it'll happen at that moment, but, you know, just be patient and wait for Jesus to snatch you up. They said shall end there. We shall be caught up together with them. So that means that Jesus is going to grab us, okay? You got to just keep your faith in Jesus. And the only reason why I say this is because um, there's been a bit of word around and because of all the deception and stuff that's probably going to take place around this time, uh, people have been talking about some crazy Project Bluebeam stuff. I've been hearing about it for over a decade, honestly. And I did some research on it when I was in the New Age and it terrified the living daylights out of me. But the the... They're saying that there's going to be some kind of a rapture sequence in the Project Bluebeam. I personally think it's going to be a cover-up. Um, don't think that that's going to be the real rapture. If we actually witness the Bluebeam version of it and we don't get rapture, that's obviously not the real rapture. So don't let it freak you out. Um, remain patient. There's going to be a lot of deceptions. Do not get deceived and let it discourage you. So I'm just letting you guys know, 
just in case. Do not get deceived. I personally am a little bit more extreme. I'm also very direct. If I get killed before the rapture, it is what it is. If I get killed before I in the in the moments before the rapture, it is what it is. I mean, I could care less. I'm going to Jesus anyway. So, you know, I prefer the rapture. I think it'd be a real cool experience, but we'll we'll see what happens with Ray. <laughs> so, don't don't let anything deceive you. Just keep your faith in Jesus. And I implore you if you are saved Start putting these videos out there encouraging people. I think encouraging each other, especially with the word itself, is uh, going to be a very, very uh, important thing in the next couple of months or as time progresses, period, um, because of what's happening. And I don't know when the rapture is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib. I don't know. It could be pre-pre-trib. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a post-trip. I don't have any reason to believe that at all. Um, I'm just hoping it's not a mid-trip. I don't want to be around to, you know, see what's up. So, that's where I stand. With further ado, fight the good fight, everyone. Keep the faith. And I'll see you later.